How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. I've never actually done a video in this latest Forza Horizon 4 regarding wheelies. How to get cars to wheelie, good wheelie tunes and the best cars to do it with. So that's what today's video is going to be all about. For the past couple of hours I've been spending some time on Twitch live streaming with some of my subscribers and shiny odd and we were going through loads of cars they were telling me the best wheelie tunes and I've got a fairly decent wheelie tune now sorted which works on loads of different cars and especially some sports cars which is quite surprising that can make them do launch wheelies. So in today's video guys I'm going to show you my tune show you exactly how to build it and what cars this tune works really well on. And bear in mind, these are launch wheelies, so straight off the line instead of bounce ones. So these are some quite good wheelies. Now, the wheelie tune in question will work on quite a few different random type of cars. Ideally, you want to look for a small type car, which preferably is rear-engined. For example, this Fiat 595 is rear-engined, very small, and this thing wheelies like a beast with my tune, which I will show you in a minute. The Volkswagen Beetle as well. This works, this is a little bit trickier, but this genuinely does work with the tune as well. And then there are other cars like the Aerial Atom V8. This can actually wheelie pretty mentally as well. A few other examples like the Datsun, it will also wheelie this car as well. And of course the Chevy Bel Air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a car. It's one that I already know it works on. However, if you're looking to wheelie a car, then look for one similar to this one. This car here, the Renault 5 Turbo. We're going to jump in this. And I'm going to show you my wheelie tune, which will work on quite a nice selection of cars. So this is not a rear engine. This is actually sort of a mid-engine car. Um, so this still works with mid-engine cars, but it works even better with rear engine ones. First of all, you're going to want to upgrade your car, preferably quite a hefty, fast engine. For this car, I put the V8 racing in it, giving it max amount of horsepower. You're going to want to keep it rear wheel drive, obviously, that's common sense. And then just max it out with twin turbos, whatever it has there. Essentially, when it comes to power, give it a nice big engine swap, give it loads of power, and it will genuinely just work. Some cars don't, but I just give all of mine max amount of power. When it comes to aero upgrades, check the front bumper. If there's anything that you can completely remove, then do it. On this one, there's just different front bumper selections. But for example, if there was an option here to remove the front bumper, I would do that and that would help the wheelie. Everything else, I'd just leave. As for tyres, go for drag tyres. Keep the front tyre width as small as possible, but keep the rear tyre width as thick as possible. And then for the rims, just find any rims which are nice and light. I like to use these ones or these golden ones right here. And then when that's done, you fully upgrade the car. You fully upgrade all the drivetrain and fully upgrade all the platform and handling, but making sure that you put the rally springs and dampers. And then the upgrades are complete. So I'll go through it very shortly once again. A fast engine swap, fully upgrade the engine and turbos. Remove the front bumper accessories if you can. Rear tyres as thick as possible, front tyres as small as possible, drag tyres, rally springs, and you should be set to go. And everything else you fully upgrade. Once that's done, you can go to tuning. And this is where the important stuff of my tune comes in. Now, lots of these things people will disagree with and lots of people will agree with. So feel free in the comment section below if you have any major changes which would help um, any of these tunes that I show you then pop it down in the comment section below. But these tunes, it works very well for me on lots of different cars. So if you're here for that, then watch this. For the tires, I like to put the PSI to the highest on the front and the lowest on the rear. So the front has as least grip as possible. For the gearing, have a look at the charts and have a look at the first gears line, the white line that comes out of the corner. You want to make sure that that line ends just before the third dotted vertical line. You'll see that on the chart there's loads of vertical lines going down that are kind of dotted. The third one from the left, you want the first gear to end just before that, as you can see. That's what I prefer anyway. For the alignment, I like to put the front camber all the way to the positive to make sure it stays straight. For the springs, I have soft at the front, stiff at the rear, and then the ride height to the max. For damping, I have rebound stiffness and bump stiffness soft at the front and both of them stiff at the rear. 
and that is my tune. As I said, this exact tune works on many different cars that I'm going to show you um, in a minute. But for example, this Renault 5 Turbo, let's take this to the drive strip and just see how well this car wheelies with my tune. Bear in mind, you want to make sure that the drive strip's quite dry for this to work. It's a little bit wet in my, in my uh, case, but um, that's not to worry. So sometimes you'll have to do several things to actually make it launch wheelie. Sometimes the car won't wheelie if you go flat out off the line, but we'll try it in this car. So we'll go and we'll just go flat out. In my case, it does. Wow, that is actually a pretty impressive wheelie, to be honest. <laughs> and that will do the same thing for loads of other cars. But um, if you're struggling to get your car to wheelie, go into reverse and then instantly back into first again. And that will sometimes pop the wheelie then. In my case, it didn't. But the tune that I've got on this thing, it just wheelie just fine, just off the line, flat out. So we're going to do that again now. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. But there you go, that's the tune, and it worked on a Renault 5 Turbo. So let's have a look at some other cars that this tune will also work on. The Fiat 595 works very well. I have the exact same tune on this as I did on the other car that I showed you, and this thing wheels like an absolute monster. First gear, second gear it comes up again, even third gear it comes up. This thing is one of the best ones in my opinion, mainly because it's mainly because it's rear-engined and rear-wheel drive, but um, still, get the tune on this bad boy, and it goes absolutely mental. This car, the Datsun 510, actually has a f engine in the front, and this one kind of wheelies with the tune that I showed you, but it doesn't wheelie very well as the other ones. But it's still proof that even engines that are in the front of the cars, the cars can still wheelie fairly decently. gets a bit of a bounce off the line in first gear it's not too impressive but you know it wheelies a little bit and it's got the engine in the front one of my favorite ones though the aerial atom as i said that this car will wheelie really well with the tune that i showed you but please keep in mind if you're doing this with the aerial atom remove the front bumper as i said earlier you have to do this with the atom just a quick note for the aerial atom there's one extra tune you need to do to make the wheelie work Go to aero and put the front downforce all the way to the bottom and put the rear downforce all the way to the top. Again, make sure you have the front bumper removed. Here we go in the Atom, straight up. One of the biggest wheels you can do and it will literally stay here forever. <laughs> it's that mental. It's not a very controllable or reliable wheelie, but I mean, it's still a wheelie and it's in an aerial Atom. It's a, a bit of fun in it let's try and launch it off the ground and as i said all of these tunes are the same let's go and wheelie ah <laughs> oh, the area laughs him so much fun oh i've even done a backflip winning another one it works on obviously is the chevy bel air the hoonigan keep in mind there are a lot more cars that this tune will not work with than there are cars that it will work with so oh my god that one's this one's definitely the jumpiest. So if you try this tune and it doesn't work on any of the cars you try, just keep trying. Try different launching methods, even try launch control, which I have a video on, and you may see that it'll work. But this thing, this thing's made to wheelie and bounce. <laughs> Especially with the tune I've showed you. Please do let me know in the comment section below what cars you managed to make this car, this tune, or just what cars you managed to get to wheelie that are quite unexpected. And also, if you try a car and it doesn't work, let me know that as well, so no one else will try it. Now, a little bit of a bonus for you. The Porsche 911 Turbo S. Believe it or not, this thing can actually wheelie. However, it's not on my tune. If you jump in the Porsche 911 Turbo S and go to the storefront and look for a wheelie tune, just search wheelie in the description, you'll find quite a few, and they're honestly quite good. So I'm in the Porsche now, if I go into reverse and then first gear, it will wheelie. A Porsche will wheelie. Just out of curiosity guys, I want you guys to use my tune which I showed you on this Porsche. I've not done it yet. I want all of you to have a go at yourself and see how well this car wheelies with my tune that I showed you. But this is just a tune off the storefront, I just thought it was pretty cool that a sports car like this 
really this well. It's pretty funny. So yeah, I'm not going to leave this video dragging on too long. I wanted to show you my tune, some good cars that you can do it with, and give you a general idea of what cars to try it on. Um, rear engine small cars and stuff like that, quite light. They'll be able to have some good fun, like this Porsche. The Porsche doesn't wheelie massively, but it's better than nothing because it's a Porsche, isn't it? So you guys, let me know in the comment section below if there's anything that you'd improve on this tune, what cars you've tried it with, what cars you've found it works with and stuff like that. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. Oh, that was a nice one. And I'll see you all in the next video.